is part two of two in our video series applying the Pythagorean theorem to 3D objects. In the first part we applied it to uh, rectangular prisms or boxes. In the second part we're going to apply the Pythagorean theorem to cones and pyramids. So by the end you'll know how to use the Pythagorean theorem to find missing lengths in cones and pyramids. Let's begin. So if you're following with uh, printed notes in handout five, we're going to go to this page. It says that in a pyramid or a cone, the height will always be perpendicular to the base, meaning that it intersects the base at a 90 degree angle. Label H the height of the cone and the pyramid below. So H is going to be the height of the cone. It's going to be this dotted line right here. For the pyramid, it's this dotted line right here. We're going to label that H. The slant height is the lateral distance from the top of the cone or the pyramid to the base. Label S the slant height of the cone and the pyramid above. So uh, for this cone, the slant height could be either this diagonal line or that diagonal line. So I'm just gonna label this S. For the pyramid, it's the dotted line forms the slant height. So we're gonna label that dotted line S. The next uh, question wants us to draw a and label R the radius of the cone above. So the radius of the cone is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. And we're gonna label that R. They ask us, what do we notice? What shape do we see inside this cone? Well, it's a right triangle. And the S, the slant height, is the hypotenuse. The R and the H form the legs. The S is our hypotenuse. They want us to connect the height and the slant height of the pyramid along the base. What do we notice? Well, we do connect it, and again, it forms a right triangle. And notice that the S, the slant height, again, is the hypotenuse, or C, if we're going to use the um, Pythagorean theorem. So let's go through some examples. The radius of the cone is 14 centimeters, and the slant height is 28 centimeters. Find the height of the cone. So the radius of the cone is 14. We're going to label the radius 14. The slant height is 28, so this height right here is 28. Label that. Now we need to solve, uh, or we need to find the height, which is this distance right here. So we're going to use our Pythagorean theorem, and because the hypotenuse is uh, 28, C is going to be 28, so 28 squared. A is missing, and B squared is 14 squared. Now, had you labeled this B, it's fine. You're still going to get the same answer. So if you wrote 14 squared plus B squared equals 28 squared, uh, that setup is proper, and you will get the right answer. Anyways, let's continue. A squared, 14 squared is 196. 28 squared is 784. Let's uh, solve this, and what we need to do is subtract 196 from both sides which gets us a square equals 588 because this cancels out. You're left with 588 square root both sides, and we're going to get uh, a equaling roughly 24.2. So this height is roughly 24.2 centimeters. Let's try another. The base of the pyramid is a square with the side lengths of 30. The height of the pyramid is 50. Find the slant height. You can pause at any time during this example to see if you um, can figure it out yourself. So I highly recommend you try it yourself. But let's go ahead and start by labeling the sides that they give us. So uh, it has side lengths of 30, which means this is 30, which means here we have our right triangle, uh, which means this is going to be 15 because the bottom length this length right here is going to be half the whole length. So if this whole thing is 30, then this length is going to be 15. The height of the pyramid is 50 inches. So the height is the regular height down the middle. That's 50. Find the slant height. So we're missing the slant height, which if we do the Pythagorean theorem. That's going to be our C. So if you set it up, you should get something that looks like this. 50 squared plus 15 squared equals C squared or 15 squared plus 50 squared equals C squared. Either one is correct. 50 squared is 2,500. 15 squared is 225. Add those two up. We get 2725 square rooted, and we should get a slant height of 52.2 inches. Let's try another one. The diameter of the cone is 40 feet, 
and the height is 21 feet. Find the slant height. Remember the diameter is the distance from one end of the circle to the other. So they say the whole thing is 40 feet, which means this length, the radius, which is half the diameter, is 20. The height, regular height, not slant height, is 21. So we're going to put a 21 right there, which means the hypotenuse, or C, is going to be missing. So let's set up our equation. C is missing. We know A square and B square, or we know A and B. 20 square is 400. 21 square is 441. And C square is still missing. So we add up those two. 400 plus 441 is 841. We square root both of them, and we should get 29. So our slant height is 29 feet. For our last example, we have a window washer who is repelling and cleaning the windows. That means he's going up and down this pyramid. So he's repelling and cleaning the windows of a hotel shaped like the square pyramid shown. The height of the pyramid is 200. If the window washer travels to the top of the pyramid and back down along the straight path X, so our straight path X is right over here. You can, you can see the little X right there. How many total feet has he traveled? So if he goes all the way up and all the way down that slant height, how many feet has he traveled? So they tell us the height of the pyramid is 200 feet, which means this length is 200. Now, we need to know what uh, this distance is. It is 150 feet because if the whole thing is 300 feet wide, then that um, should tell us that this is 150 because this from here to here is going to be half that distance. It's 150. So we've got our right triangle. We've got both our legs. We're missing our x, which is the hypotenuse, which is c. So let's set it up. We should get 200 square plus 150 square equals c square. 200 is 40,000. 150 square is 22,500. We add those up, and then we square root and we get C equals 250. That is not our answer. We know this is 250, but that's not our answer because they are asking us uh, how many total feet has he traveled if he travels to the top of the pyramid and back down. So it goes up and then down. So that means we need to, if he goes up, he travels 250. If he travels down, that's another 250. So that's 250 plus 250 which equals 500 feet. And now you know how to apply the Pythagorean theorem to uh, rectangular prisms, to cones, and to rectangular pyramids.